Shalom. Kol Leimla Yehawa. Bahashim Yehawa Shai. Bahashim Rekwakadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yehawa. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior. Yehawa Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity. Risking their lives and freedom to do so. Pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hope for the neck that are scattered abroad. And double honor and respect to the elders and to the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled People of the Book. So there was a story that I, well, a testimony that I gave about three years ago about being in a Union soldier's uniform of the Northern Army during the Civil War. And I was trying to escape to get up north. And I was captured by the Confederate soldiers of the South. And they did something to me where everything went black. And I think they used the butt of the back of their rifle and they um, butt stroked my head where I blacked out. And that's all I remember. I woke up after that. But nevertheless, <clears throat> that was about three and a half years ago when I told that story. <clears throat> and now this movie came out and I took Elder Apostle Ramlob's recommendation to go and watch the movie. And this movie sent chills down my spine, to, to tell you the truth. Because <clears throat> I actually had a, a vision of it. And it was like a, a testimony that I did a lesson on. And I shared it with the subscribers on this channel. Well, on the old channel I did. So I want to briefly talk about the heritage of our forefathers. We're pilgrims on the earth. Without a continuing city, without a home, because we became castaways, we became pilgrims. <clears throat> so I want to go into it. So Will Smith's experience reminded me of the dream that I had about three and a half years ago <clears throat> and trying to escape. So I won't give the movie away. But there's certain things that he said, and there's certain things that were said during the movie where I, I recommend you go and watch it. <clears throat> Just like Elder Apostle Ramla had recommended probably about a week or two ago. I can't remember. <clears throat> but anyway, I want to go into how we are joined unto this book through our testimonies, through our spiritual testimonies that we have. So we have a connection to the book because we fit the prophecies of the people that would fall and that would eventually rise again and that at one time were ruling over the nations under King David, under King Solomon. Let's read this one. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 10. Let's go to 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our God. Hear, Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. How happened it, Israel, that thou art in thine enemy's land, that thou art waxen old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead. So we are prisoners of war. Go and watch this movie. We are waxing old in a strange country where we became 
aliens to the commonwealth of Israel, cut off from our heritage, cut off from the Lord's mercy and grace temporarily. <clears throat> Let's go here to Jeremiah 17, verse 3. Oh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 3. O oh, my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil, and thy high places for sin throughout all thy borders. So we became a prey, and we became a spoil to the nations. Who gave Jacob up for a spoil? Our power did, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go to Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. So that fire is comprised of harsh judgments, pestilence, plagues, captivity, hunger, famine, the sword. So we were subject to payments by being sentenced to hell. That's why Isaiah 5 and 13 says, my people have gone into captivity, therefore hell have enlarged herself. Is not Israel a nation that cannot be counted nor measured nor numbered that are as the sand of the sea? So hell enlarged itself because the Lord's inheritance became a prey. <coughs> Let's go from there to Deuteronomy 28. And there's a key point that I want to hit here. Deuteronomy 28. Let's go to 7. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. So this is when we were in the good graces of the Most High. All nations were subdued under King David and under the Davidic dynasty or the David dynasty, the house of David dynasty. All nations were, even after the split between northern and southern kingdom. But over time, these nations rebelled against Israel because a nation divided against itself cannot stand. So these nations took advantage of a divided nation of Israel that was divided between north and south. Sound familiar? See, so this... The movie was about the Civil War in January of 1863. President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, which did not free the slaves, but it transferred ownership to the Union, the North. The North was not able to adequately track and tax slave labor and reproduction and revenue. And how can you keep up with slaves that reproduce and the selling and trading of these slaves? So they lost control. The Southern States of America or the Confederate States of America became the fourth largest economy in the world around 1860, at its height. Anyway, so in the vision that I had, I was dressed just like this, captured. 
knocked out, knocked out, unconscious. Everything went black and I woke up. So we were smitten by our enemies, according to the curses. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. So the Israelites are serving in all countries under every nation under heaven. So we look like all nations unto this day. Read it again. So in the dream, I was running, <clears throat> trying to get away. So this movie reminded me of that, and I won't go into the details, but there are certain things that Will Smith said that resonated with me very heavily. And certain things said in the movie <clears throat> blew me away. Let's go back to that. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28, verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Let's start down to verse 29. Let's go to 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. So that's what happened. So we were left to fend for ourselves. And this is the heritage of the Israelites, temporarily castaways, became vagabonds without a continuing city. Let's go here to what happened to Moses. <clears throat> Let's go to Exodus 18, verse 1. When Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard of all that God had done for Moses and for Israel, his people, and that the Lord had brought Israel out of Egypt. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took Zipporah, Moses' wife, after he had sent her back, and her sons, of which the name of the one was Gershom, for he said, I have been an alien in a strange land. See? So these curses fit our forefathers, aliens to the commonwealth of Israel, castaways, but temporarily. Let's look up this word, Gershom, in Exodus 18, verse 3. I got ice water to keep my voice lubricated. Gershom comes from a Hebrew. Strong's H, 1647. Gershom. Gershom. Foreigners. First son of Moses and Zipporah. First born of Levi. So... His sons are Israelites because Moses is an Israelite. So Israelites became foreigners, foreign to the commonwealth of Israel. 
That's why we read in Deuteronomy 28 and 25 that we were scattered into all kingdoms of the earth. So this is why Will Smith is running in the movie, trying to get away. And when you go and watch the movie, he talks about his afflictions, his stripes and being whipped, beat, hung. And I won't go into further detail because I don't want to spoil the movie. Let's <clears throat> go to Psalms 39. Wow, this is the spirit. I was just talking about being beat. Psalms 39, verse 10. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. This is heavy. I had no clue I was going here next. Not a clue. Let's read that again. Psalms 39, Verse 10, remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. Let's look that up. I wanted to go at verse 11, but I started at 10. Let's look up this word stroke from stroke of thy hand. Stroke comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H, 5061. Nege. Nege. So I won't pull up the image, but it's that famous image of that Israelite that has all these whip stripes on his back. That's the character that Will Smith is playing. I won't pull it up because they'll mess with the video because of the image. But his back has been beaten in where it looks like a lot of squiggly lines on his back. So Will Smith plays that character from that famous image. Wow. <clears throat> See? Stroke. Stripes. Wound. Stricken. Plague. Stroke or wound, disease, mark, plague. Matter of fact, let's try something here. Because I don't want them to mess with the video, but I want to try to... Yeah, this is it right there. Just briefly show that. Towards the bottom, I won't go into detail and pull it up. Just do that. Just get a brief glimpse. But I'm not going to pull up the image. Anyway, <clears throat> let's keep it moving. Let's go to Psalms 39, verse 13. Hear my prayer. Excuse me. The book of Psalms, chapter 39, verse 10. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. When thou with rebukes dost correct man for iniquity, thou makest his beauty to consume away like a moth. Surely every man is vanity. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my ears, for I am a stranger with thee and a sojourner as all my fathers were. Wow. See? So the Israelites have a heritage of being wanderers among the nations. How do we know that? Let's see here. Let's go to Hosea 8. Verse 8. Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. So we're swallowed up by the nations. Let's go to Hosea 9, verse 17. My God, 
will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him. And they shall be wanderers among the nations. They shall be wanderers among the nations. One of my favorite movies is a 1978 movie called The Wanderers. Most of their time in the movie, they're running from these rival gangs. But when they had the fight, they got down. They took care of business. So that movie came into mind while thinking about this lesson. The Wanderers reminds me of our forefathers running and trying to escape persecution. Wow, let's read that again. Hosea 9, verse 17. My God will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him and they shall be wanderers among the nations. So that happened to our forefathers. That became our heritage after the Israelites fell as a nation. Let's go back to this. Psalms 39, verse 12. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee and a sojourner as all my fathers were. O spare me that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more. Let's look at this word sojourners. <clears throat> Sojourner. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H8453. Toshav. Toshav. Stranger. Foreigner. We've talked about that. Israelites were called Gentiles. Strangers. Foreigners. Let's close out here. Psalms 119, verse 17. Deal bountifully with thy servant that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto thy judgments at all times. See, so this is the heritage of the Israelites. That's one I'm forgetting. It's, let's go here. Deuteronomy 28. No, I've read it. I'll read it again. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Our forefathers have testimonies of the book, Living the Curses of Deuteronomy. This is a marker, an indicator on who the Lord's chosen people are, as it is this day. Psalms 119, verse 19. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. Let's go down to verse 22. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. Coming back to this word, meditating on prophecy day and night. <clears throat> verse 28. My soul melted for heaviness 
strengthen thou me according to thy word. So even in the movie, Will Smith keeps quoting the Bible and faith. So this movie hit heavy. I mean heavy. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekon Kadash, double honor and respect to the elders and to the apostles of Great Millstone. Much love and honor to the beloved brothers that are helping to edify the body and feed the lambs of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekon Kadash daily in truth and sincerity. We got next, Lord willing, Kwam Yashirala, and the Bad Baal, Barakatham, Shalom.